Wix email marketing tutorial how to get started with email marketing using Wix. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with email marketing on Wix. Now Wix is something that we all think about when we're building our site but the peripheral items that come alongside with designing our site often are left to other third-party apps like MailChimp for email marketing. But did you know that you can do a lot of the basics on Wix as well? So to get started, simply log on to Wix. And once you have logged on to Wix, what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit site or design site. And we're just going to open up our Wix website editor. Now, once we open up our Wix website editor, we're actually going to add a couple of applications to our Wix site. So on the left, you will see a section called My Business, and this shows you any of the you know, forms or any of the apps that are being used. I'm already using Wix forms, so I'm going to click on Add New Form, but if you're not using it, we're going to click on the Apps Market on top of this icon, and you're going to integrate Wix forms. And then after that, you can integrate Wix email marketing into your Wix website. So you will actually see that there are a lot of different, you know, tools that allow you to get started with email marketing. But when you're looking to build on Wix, when you're using Wix for a lot of different things, using native applications is just so much more cohesive so just integrate wix forms and then you're going to go into business or my business and you will see the wix forms and payments option click on add new form over here this will open up the element section where you have contact and forms from here you can create a new form or use one of the previous pre-made contact forms I want to build a contact form because when you were using the Wix email marketing tool, we want to first collect emails. That's the first step of email marketing. So I want to use this uh, contact us form. This is a really basic one that we have picked out. And once you have the form, it's going to show up like this. Now you're going to customize this. You can click on settings on the bottom right and you have the form info, the layout, the design, so the form background, you can customize this as well, the border width, shadows, and you can even go into the layouts and then you're going to go ahead and then click on manage form. You can even edit this form. So if you want to add more fields, if you want to ask for more information about the customer, you can complete all of that information over here. Now over here, if I want, I can ask for their birthday write a message i am going to remove that and subscribe to our newsletter that's what i'm going to add and once i've added this i'm just going to add an exclamation mark then we have rules then we can have conditional rules in multiple pages we have previews and then settings and then confirmation messages any payments and then submissions i'm just going to save all of these forms and once i've done that i can click on manage form to manage you know any other settings of the form but i think everything looks pretty decent over here now form behavior can also be modified how you want the form to you know react or how you want the form to be held out so if you want you can stick a form to you know a certain section like this if i want this to be in the bottom i can add that i want it to be at the bottom so i'm going to be adding it over here if you want you can create it at the top as well i'm going to delete this section and i'm just going to drag and drop our newsletter form here after our connect section and i'm going to delete this form section and then move this up a little like so and then we're just gonna move the footer right over here and i'm just going to change the form background because i want it to look a bit distinctive from the actual background so we're gonna go ahead and add some color to our form we're gonna add our ugly green and we're gonna make it a nicer green and then you can just click on publish now, once you have the first step done, which is to actually collect emails, you can, you know, collect your customers' emails, you can get started with email marketing using Wix. 
Now for that, we're going to go into our Wix dashboard and from your dashboard, you're going to see a function called marketing. Under marketing, you will find email marketing. Simply select email marketing over here and you can start building your emails. You can choose a template or start an email from scratch. I'm going to be using a template for this. And I want to write a, a welcome template for new subscribers, new subscribers. And after that, the Wix AI assistant is going to help you find the best template out there that is going to fit all of your needs. You can see there are newsletter templates and much more. So you guys can see for welcoming new subscribers, the send a newsletter template is recommended. So we have monthly newsletter, July newsletter, and other news. I, I think I'm going to... I'm going to proceed with the send a newsletter template, which is this one. It's pretty minimal, so I have a lot of opportunities to customize. And over here, I'm going to change this to welcome to Spencer, which is our business name for our email marketing. And instead of check out our latest updates, we want to write Pilates in style with Spencer and we can add you know any any more of our campaign info so on and so forth just customize everything and click on preview and test and you can add a lot more in wix emails you can see on the left you have different types of elements that you can include you have columns buttons dividers images links logos videos you even can go into the theme section to completely customize the theme to your own personal preference so whatever your personal style is, you can add that type of theme. Then you even have a background AI email so you can add content related to your email, whatever type of email you're sending out and it will and it will add the, you know, content for you. So then you have all of your content info that you can add. Once you've completed everything, click on preview and test and I'm going to click on send test email and I'm just going to send this to myself like this and what did we do last month instead of this this is going to be welcome to spencer spencer and then i will add our sender name which is going to be spencer as well spencer and a reply to email is going to be my own email as well gonna look a bit funny but we're gonna send out our free test email to see what our mail looks like and once this has been sent we can view this in our own mailbox and then we can proceed with back to editing click on next and then you can send out your campaign to your audience members click on next and then you can customize your subject line sender details and then send the email right now or schedule it for later as well so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.